what's up Gemini this is going to be a love forecast for the first half of February this is for my Gemini Sun Moon Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers if you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment and if you are new to my channel I put these out every two weeks so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video and I am on TikTok and Instagram if you want to follow me over there, I put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the area of love, first two weeks of February. Any love messages for my Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first two weeks of February. Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth, Gemini, Clarity, Breakthroughs. Wow, Queen of Swords your energy air sign queen um, and the justice card in the reverse okay six of pentacles the emperor in the reverse five of cups okay gemini there's a situation here calling for truth justice card queen of swords ace of swords some of you are dealing with a libra you also got aquarius here now there's some kind of a breakthrough happening or a conversation around a situation that you feel is unjust, unfair, out of balance. There's a lot here around balance because we've got a Six of Pentacles card and the Six of Pentacles is really about trying to gain reciprocity. It's the one-sided uh, charity kind of a card. Maybe some of you have been feeling like you've just been getting breadcrumbs, you've poured a lot into a situation and not getting as much in return. The Justice card is sort of where we feel like we've been treated unfairly, um, something needs to be made right. And we've got a lot of loss here with the Five of Cups. Um, Emperor card in the reverse. So you could be dealing with someone that you sort of were trying to build something very stable and solid with. Um, but the Emperor card in the reverse, a couple of things that come through with that. That can be that Shadow Emperor. Maybe you are dealing with a situation with a person that really likes to sort of be in control. Okay, so it can even be a bit of a tyrant type energy. Maybe this is where things are un unfair. Maybe you've been dealing with someone that can be a bit controlling, a bit cruel. Um, if not, right, that's one story for some of you. They're telling me that the Emperor card in the reverse is someone that lacks stability or is not coming forward and offering, offering you. Um, maybe you are putting more into the situation. Maybe it's more financially. Maybe it's more emotionally. Maybe it's both. Um, and there seems to be that that lack of balance in the situation is preventing you from moving forward and building something solid and stable with this person. Maybe they're unwilling to put work in. You know, the Emperor card puts work, effort, takes, takes control of the situation. So when I say too controlling, I also get that sometimes people like to control situations because they don't like to be vulnerable. So you could be dealing with someone that's maybe uh, standoffish or likes to sort of do things exactly their way and only give so much because they don't want to become vulnerable you know they don't want to kind of show their emotions that's sort of that emperor card in the reverse can also be quite cold anyway so it's led to a bit of loss here justice card in reverse um you know some of you are dealing with someone that you are married to small portion i'm getting is justice card can be the marriage and divorce card so there could be a separation or a divorce going on otherwise i'm just getting it this is more so about getting to the truth of the matter is this situation fair is this situation balanced and there could be a conversation around that um, tell me a bit more about this justice card tell me more about the justice in the reverse the th yeah there seems to be just like a lack of forward movement three of wands in the reverse also you could have been waiting three of wands in the upright would have been waiting for something to turn um, or waiting for things to balance out or maybe even waiting for someone to make something right but it's like you don't want to wait anymore okay um, yeah nine of pentacles you don't want to wait anymore you're going to focus on you Gemini and that could be why you're having this sort of this is the clarity coming through you might be deciding look I'm going to focus on me I'm going to focus on myself I, I might be wanting to make myself single and available that could be what you're telling yourself or i'm going to focus on my money and my finances because i've got a king of pentacles in the reverse so some of you are dealing with someone that's not financially stable maybe that's a concern king of pentacles in the reverse also on the other side of things you could be dealing with someone that um actually their priorities are maybe somewhere else because I've got the two of pentacles here so this person could be very money focused right so on the flip side you could be dealing with someone that is very materialistic um, 
cold and materialistic, right? So they're all about the money. Um, and so they're not, they're not sort of putting in the emotional nurturing or the time or the energy into you into building something solid, right? Um, two of Pentacles, someone that's juggling a lot. So this person could be maybe a workaholic, um, earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, or otherwise, it's just a person also King of Pentacles in the reverse lacks loyalty or commitment. So for some of you, there could be issues around loyalty, commitment, stability. All these things are coming up. Either way, um, it'll be different for each of you, but the truth is coming out here. So Ace of Swords could be, um, you know, like I said, a breakthrough, an understanding, a new understanding around Nine of Cups. What's going to fulfill you? I have the Four of Pentacles here and the Knight of Cups. So, um, and then the Devil card in the reverse. There could be a conversation or a breakthrough here with this person. Um, I feel with the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, you could find that there is this sense of you and this person, you might be holding on to one another um, because there is this sense of joy and fulfillment. But I'm also getting, Gemini, some of you are dealing with a situation with a person that's holding on to some bad habits right like four of pentacles and nine of cups maybe this person is sort of selfish nine of cups or um they, they they're greedy like they want you but they don't want to give you everything um i see a knight of cups here so i think there's a conversation brewing um gemini i think this person they can be very charming knight of cups the the justice card in the reverse like there is something that needs to be made right so perhaps this person is coming in now in february and they want to offer you an apology or a cup of love um, maybe there is a discussion about letting go of some stuff that's been holding the connection back or some toxic patterns or habits. Um, I still think that there is a sense of you kind of wanting to just maybe focus on you, focus on your own stability, self-sufficiency, feeling good again. Um, there's just that devil card in the reverse. It just feels like, you know, yeah, maybe this person has some things that they need to let go of, some patterns. You know, maybe this person can be quite avoidant. I said that they, they want to be in control, but it could be that they try to control situations, as I said, because they don't want to be vulnerable or too emotional. Um, they don't want to get hurt. They don't want to go all in, something like that. I mean, I have an ace of pentacles here, so they could be coming back in wanting to communicate with you and clarify things and maybe talk to you about how they are working on offering you something more stable ace of pentacles this is about a new beginning we have two aces here so clarity conversation honesty truth for yourself and also maybe between you and this person and ace of pentacles is like a new beginning um you know a, a commitment something that feels committed and solid and maybe they're working to let go of a pattern you know for some of you dealing with a person that where addictions or drugging or drinking are at play um maybe they are working on letting go of that or they're trying to juggle uh, many things but they're looking to what they can sort of readjust in order to give you something more stable for those of you who are dealing with someone that is having financial difficulties they could be coming to talk to you about how they're trying to create more stability they could have come up with a plan ace of swords is also plans about how they are um you know working on building more resources for themselves or they could have had a new job opportunity or career opportunity um, there's a hanged man here though so seems you're one foot in one foot out Gemini uh, there seems to be something that just makes this feel like it's in suspension uh, you are going to have to get to the truth of the matter you are going to have to maybe make a decision and you know the justice card is about weighing up sides and trying to do the right thing but I think you've been doing that for some time and you've been feeling like this is definitely somehow not fair on you. So you're gonna to need to communicate what it is that you want, right? Let me just get a little bit more on um, this situation with the oracles. Finality, divorce, not looking back, differences. Now I said divorce, so for some of you that is that is what's going on. And for others of you, there just seems to be this sense of finality. You know, Gemini, we've got a five of cups here. so. Five of Cups does mean there's a loss, but a Two of Cups behind you is what you don't see coming. So I just feel like you might be really getting to the truth of the matter that this might not be what's satisfying you. It's holding you back. 
you know, the devil in the reverse and the nine of cups could be that you're trying to set yourself free and move more towards what makes you happy, wishes fulfilled. Um, Cause I see that there could be another opportunity around you or presenting that feels like more aligned for you, okay? So we've got divorce decision. I said that as like indecision, you know, uh, stay or leave uncertain. That's that hanged man energy. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe some of you are deciding not to break up or it depends. I mean, it's going to be up to you, that decision card, but it's about getting to the truth of the matter about what's going to be good for you and what feels right for you. And each situation is going to be different, guys. I can't tell each of you what to do when there's nuances, right? Forbidden, love affair, giving in to pleasure, temptations. Temptation. So even if it's not, um, you know, cheating or love affair, I did say to you that this person could have some habits. Maybe there's a lot of temptations um, that throws, throws this person off. For some of you, yeah, there could have been flirting or something that inter interfered here in the connection. Maybe some of you have someone that you're flirting with, right? And now you've got a decision to make. Maybe you're weighing up options now. Telepathy, intuition. So you could feel a very strong connection with this person some of you are dealing with like a a real like a counterpart kind of thing an emperor card can be that sort of counterpart energy but i'm also getting like intuition is very important here because ace of swords is about you getting to the truth and trusting your intuition about what's right for you okay let's see what else proposal commitment taking to the next level yeah well interesting so if for those of you where there's, this is not involving marriage, you haven't already been married, I feel like this person has this intention of like giving you a proposal or an offer or saying that they wanna give you something very solid, take things to the next level, right? Um, because they maybe have been lacking the stability or the means to offer you that. Um, for some of you, if you're already in a commitment, this is like them coming back and saying, no, let's take it next level. Um, or if this is a discussion about breakup or stay they could say i want to repair this i really want to take it to the next step right but then i have that justice card so that's again divorce uh legal matters all of that so for those of you where marriage is in in the works here um some of you you might be dealing with someone that is married okay i just got that and you could be sort of the outside and that's the outside person not judging, like maybe this person's coming in saying that they're trying to work on getting a divorce to offer you something more solid. But in the meantime, things have felt very out of balance. And I think that you're trying to get to the truth of the matter of whether you actually want this anymore. Um, using your intuition, okay? Yeah, I don't know, I've got drama. So there could have been a lot of drama between you and them based on whatever's going on. Um, dismiss, disregard look the other way. Yeah. So again, this person can, I think this person can be inconsistent and maybe seem a bit dismissive or cold, um, extreme, erratic decisions, harsh. So up and down is what I'm getting. Um, Gemini, what else? Escape, avoiding, blocking, pushing away, hiding. Okay. Showing proof, validation, confirmation. And it says, I love you. So I think if this person has difficulty sort of they try to escape or they try to block out um, maybe their feelings or they're trying to always escape their issues that they have to deal with. Because again, we've got devil and all this kind of maybe overindulgent or bad habits or things. They, they, maybe they do that, they have those habits because they're trying to escape something else that they haven't dealt with. Well, I think that they wanna come forward. There's something about the truth, finding the truth, ace of swords. So there's a truth to be revealed, to be discussed, or it's your truth getting to the bottom of it um, around what you're really desiring and use your intuition, Gemini, is what I keep hearing. Um, this person could have some pain from childhood that they're trying to escape. We've got childhood here. Um, yeah. Okay, Gemini, um, let's get you a card. Yeah, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So they are coming in with an expression of love and an offer. Um, attraction they're very attracted to you give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so the emperor card in the reverse maybe they haven't been putting work in but they want to put more effort in we do have the engagement card so that's come that 
has come through a couple of times. So for some of you, this person's really coming in because they want to show you that they're committed to really being with you, committing, taking it next level. For those already in a commitment, it's like maybe they want to recommit to you with that Ace of Pentacles. Um, but you'll have to decide, Gemini, what's right for you. I can see that you're sort of hanged man. <laughs> one foot in, one foot out. Okay, Gemini, I hope that resonates for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks' time. Lots of love.